All right, now let's look at uh, output events that are emitted on uh, Ionic Slides component. So uh, there are a lot of them here, and these can help you do some uh, some custom things, provide some custom behavior when uh, certain actions are take taken by the slide sliders, uh, the slider that you build. So we're going to take a look at some of them to show you how they work. So let's go into our code here and uh, right. Let's get rid of these function methods. Um, let to move the buttons as well. All right. So, for example, um, if let's say when we take a look at this, it says ion slide reach n. So this event is emitted when a uh, slide reaches its last slide. So when the slide reaches the last one, and this uh, event is emitted. So maybe you want to do something when the slide reaches the last one. So let's uh, pick it up and see whether we can do something with it. So, Alright, so ion slide reach n. We want to uh, fire function called reached n and passing the event and then let's go here and implement our function so what we want to do is to just log it and see what we get so event So let's serve it up. Sorry. Okay. Alright, so let's now slide and then see whether I want to get to the end. Uh, right. uh, we are here and uh, oh, it give us undefined. Why is that? So, right, the reason is no event is being passed, no object is being passed. It seems like some of the uh, events here passes an object uh, to the function that uh, the callback function, let's put that way, but some do not. Seems like the end, I also like which end then I also like which starts do not well, so we can just um, remove it and just log that the uh, uh, end all right and let's see Yeah, we are there. Yeah. Um, there is its counterpart, uh, which is ion slide, which starts. That is, whenever it gets to the initial um, slide. Let's add that as well. Which starts. Alright. Okay, and let's provide a function for it. Alright, and we are at these types. Or the beginning, whatever. Um, Alright, so that's it. We are the stats, and when we slide, we are the end, and when we come back, we are the end.
you start. Yeah. So that we, let's take a look at uh, the others. For example, IO slide will change. So that is, it's emitted when a slide starts, change starts, when we uh, starts change from 5 to 4 or 4 to 3 or 4 to 4 to 1 to 2 or uh, that. And with that, uh, it passes uh, an object to, to the callback function. So, uh, slide change. Sorry. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So let's get rid of the start and end and just implement when the slide changes. And now we are going to get some event object back. So, uh, I think the reason why we don't get any object on the uh, ion slide reach start and end is there is no useful information that we already know. We already know that it's at the start of the, uh, of the slide, the first one, and the end also we already know that's at the end. So. Uh, there is nothing to know, but with the ion slide will change. We need to know uh, this slide we are getting to, the, the one that is being is coming up. Yeah, we need to know certain things. That's why I think an object is giving us so we can figure that out and do what we want to do. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and see. Okay. So yeah. So when we change, it gives us a an object here. It's a slide object, and it tells us uh, quite a lot of things. Quite a lot. So you can go through it and uh, uh, see what you can uh, use some of the properties for. Mm -hmm. It's actually the slides object, the one that this one, this object. Yeah, that's what you are giving us. If you take a look at the objects name here, it is slide. So, so they are giving us back the slides yeah, so we can get a useful information uh, that we need concerning the slide that uh, is being changed to or from. Let's take a look at uh, others. For example, when um, ion slide is double tapped, for example, or ion slide is tapped. So when the person taps on the slide, this one will uh, be emitted. When it, the person double taps, this one will be. We have auto play when uh, the slide starts on its own. That's when auto play. Uh, is in action. This one is fired. This one is when the autoplay starts and when the autoplay stops. So when you provide a loop, it means autoplay will not stop. But if you don't provide a loop, it means autoplay will stop at the end. And this one will be fired. So you can explore them and see what you can do uh, with them to create a custom slider. Right, so in the next uh, lesson, we are going to take a look 
are the very powerful feature that will enable us to bring or to, 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 to uh, ex, uh, extend our um, slider. So when we take a look, it says there are several options available to create customized slides. So that is provided by the Swiper library, JavaScript library. But Ionic exposes the most commonly used options as in order to use an option that isn't exposed as an input, the following code should be used. Where free mode is the option to change. So in the next lesson, we will take a look at this free mode option and see how we can tap into the options uh, that were not exposed but are powerful enough to create custom and powerful slides.